We left off yesterday's video with this little piece. And today we're going to see if we can bend it. I'm just using this tape to pick it up. Now I think I said something like this before and it went like this where Trumpeter did a wonderful job in forming the plastic parts. They uh, did not do a very good job in some of their instructions. Now here you can see what appears to be part of the uh, pedestal gets folded underneath the seat so that the pedestal itself will appear to come out from the center of the seat. I think that's the way it's supposed to go. That's why there are three places to bend there. The first bend that you see there that comes from where the, at where the seat ends and the pedestal starts, well that will fold completely back underneath the seat. Then the next one will bend at 90 degrees straight down. And then the third one bends so that the piece like the tongue goes, you want to call it the tongue, goes straight forward so it can be glued into a little plastic part, R21. Now that's the way I think it's going to go. I spent about an hour yesterday online actually looking to see if I could uh, uh, see any, any photographs of the real thing and I couldn't find anything. It doesn't mean that they don't exist, it just means I didn't find it. Anyway, I think that's the way I'm going to go with this. I don't want it to appear like I'm not happy with this kit. I'm actually very happy with it. For the most part, it's a very high quality kit. But I was online just now hoping to find something in the way of aftermarket instructions, you know? Like you can find aftermarket parts like brass propellers and metal cannon barrels and, you know, that kind of stuff. Uh, however, no aftermarket instructions. But you know, we're getting along okay as it is. We're sort of being able to, you know, if it's not clear, you just sort of guess how it's supposed to go, and then it sort of makes sense. Now, I know I'm only maybe 20% into the build, maybe not even that far. So it could be we're going to have bigger problems further on, but we'll deal with them when we get to them. Anyway, let's just keep going here. Okay, I've got to bend it 180 degrees back underneath itself here. So I'm just going to go this way first. How does that look? Maybe I should have the piece further down into the plier. Okay, try it like that. Maybe, maybe I better get a little pair of tweezers on it there. Maybe I'm going to have to do this off camera. Okay, that's the first bend. Now the second bend happens right there at this one, not this one. So once again, I'm going to have to do it off camera. Okay, now the next bend, this piece here, gets bent at that other joint. There's only one left. There, it folds right at this little joint right there. Yeah, once again, I'll have to do it off camera. OK, 
Okay, right now it's upside down. Let's see if I can get it turned over here. There. Whoops. Now, there, that's the way it's supposed to go. Yeah, look at how small that is. If I can figure out a way that I can do the uh, other 14 pieces so that you can see how it's done. Anyway. You get the idea. Now you will recall me saying that I generally talk about what I'm thinking about at the time. And, uh, oh, about, um, uh, I guess four or five months ago, maybe not that long ago, when I was in the hobby store, I asked if they happened to have that waxed pencil that people use for picking up little tiny pieces. And then you, you pick the piece up, and then you place it where you want it, and then it releases. And I was thinking, I wonder if this blue tack could be used. But I'm noticing that here's an extra hatch cover that we had. And uh, it's stuck on there pretty good. I can see where this would not work. But you know what? It's a wax pencil, right? In other words, where the, where the lead was, it's been replaced with some sort of wax. Well, down in my workshop, I have some emergency candles. <laughs> They're made of wax. I wonder if I could make something up out of that. No, I'm not going to do it right now. But uh, anyway, I was just sort of thinking that. I was thinking, you know, I could put a little piece of blue tack on the end of this but I can see now by by trying this that it's just you know it's just way too uh, stuck on there it's not it wouldn't work but maybe uh, what if I was to take a little piece of wax from a candle and put it on the end of a stick would that work wax is wax right in the meantime this is the second one I'm just going to see if possibly my homemade uh, photo itch bender would work here. Now the, the, the kink or the fold folding line is on the other side of this little piece. You can't see it there. Now maybe that's not a good idea because then I can't see where it is exactly either. There, got it turned over. Well, maybe this isn't a good idea. Try something else. Okay, I've got my tweezer in between two of the kinks. In other words, it's on the flat part. There's a little kink on this side and there's a little kink on this side. And I'm just thinking maybe I can fold the seat down and also take and fold this side up. Let me put on my macro lens and we'll move in nice and close. Okay, looking at it up close here now I can sort of see that there's a, a little bit of the photo etch tab is still stuck on the part here. You know the tab that goes between the part and the fret or the sprue. And uh, I suppose by rights I should really be cutting that off. But you can hardly see it. Unless you use a macro lens. Now, what I'm thinking is get, get the bend started. It doesn't have to go all the way around. Yeah. I do have a, a tweezers that are actually thinner than these. These are almost too wide. Now then this one here, it should come up. 
Okay, would it be a good idea to do it now? Or should I take it out and fold this around the rest of the way? Maybe I'll take it out and fold it around the rest of the way. I took a Sharpie and I made a little dot on the glass here. And then I've centered it and focused in on that dot. Now I know that when I keep my object on or close to that dot, it's in the field of view for the camera. And I don't need to be constantly looking up into the monitor. So let's see if we can bend this over now. Try and have a little better luck than the last one. You know, if I'd quit poking at these things, it should be a lot better, wouldn't it, eh? You know, I get it just right, and then I think, well, maybe I can move it just a little bit better. Leave it alone. Okay, I'm going to try and carefully hold it down here with this. doesn't matter if I mark the uh, bottom of the seat. No one's going to see it anyway. Let me just shove this over. Now I take away my knife. And we should be able to just flatten this out here now. There. Okay. Now we'll bend it the other way. Yeah. We got it. Now I guess to bend it the other way i got to turn it over. Now one thing I have to really be careful is that I don't accidentally ping these things off somewhere. Now, I think, there. Sometimes just picking it up and dropping it, it's sort of, you have a 50-50 chance of having it bounce in the right direction, or flip up the right side, I mean. Okay, so now, once again, let's see, steadying myself here. We want to bend it right there at that one. Not that one. Whoops. There's an example. Now, I know you can't see it. It's out of the field of view, but it only moved about an inch and a half away. But if you're not careful, you're going to have the thing go across the room, and you can kiss it goodbye. Oh my, I'm going to lose this thing yet. You know, I'm wondering, would it be maybe a better idea to make this this fold right here first and then fold it back against the seat? Maybe I'll try that on the next one. I'll try and get underneath it here. No, this isn't working. I'm going to end up having it go pinging across the room on me. I'm going to have to pick it up in the tweezers and hold it hold it right there right here on this end here with the tweezer and uh, but then it might ping out of the tweezer why is this one not going as good as the other one okay I've grabbed it a little bit differently here now can I fold this without it being pried out of the tweezer Ooh. I don't think it's folding in the right place. I just checked the monitor. It looks like it is. My glass was sliding here on me.
Okay, now we fold this part here forward. Now I just realized what is different about this one than the last one. And that is that I folded it differently. I started with the fold a little bit different. I think this should just go down like this. Okay, so it's sort of a mirror image of the first one we did. Anyway, I'm going to have to do the rest uh, off camera, otherwise this is going to take a week. So, uh, yeah. Okay, you know I like to be honest in my workshop videos. I dubbed that sound in. Do you know how I created it? Like this. <laughs> no, don't worry. What you see is what you get. And if I cheat like this, I'll always tell you. Now, you would have thought that we'd had enough comic relief for one episode already, right? Okay, I went down to the workshop and I got a quarter inch doll and I gave it a little sharpen in the pencil sharpener. I will let this wax get nice and hot here. Okay, now we'll just coat the end here with wax. Now, I know this isn't as good as you know, a, uh, the real thing, but you know, it's, just make sure it's, uh, you know, permeated into the, all the little pores in the, oops, gotta be careful here when I say pores so that I don't blow out the candle. Also, I have to be concerned about the fact that my smoke detector upstairs here is so sensitive that all I have to do is set my toaster on the counter and pretend to plug it in and the smoke detector will start to howl. Well, that's not that bad. I guess that's a good thing, right? Okay, that should be soaked in pretty good. And we'll just pull it out now. Hold it like this. Now, I am not quite ready to try this out yet, but my thinking here is that CA glue will uh, not stick to the wax. However, I want it to uh, cure almost right away, so I'm going to try and make up a little applicator for the uh, curing agent so that I can, well, pick up the little piece of photo etch with the wax tip, put it where it's supposed to go, which will already have CA glue on it, and then apply a little bit of curing agent so that it should s stick in place. But uh, that's going to take a little bit of finagling yet. And um, yeah, this video is already pretty long. So uh, I guess uh, this is the end of today's episode. So thanks for watching. All being well. We'll see you tomorrow.